So starting a new week here, what advice do we have for the week coming up right after this? Good morning, good afternoon, this is Lucky Links. I thought um, I would do a video like I did last week about kind of what, just kind of what messages are out there for people right now to consider as things are moving forward. Uh, I asked the Tibetan Mo and um, the Tibetan divination was Scattered Mountain of Sand. Um, not usually my favorite divination to come up so when that comes up it usually tells me that things are going to disperse things are going to be sort of like a like a like a mountain of sand that is blown away so um ask yourself what you have been stockpiling in your life that no longer serves you or what have you been clinging to that has been limiting your spiritual growth um and what has put your body out of balance, put your mind out of balance, put your spirit out of balance, put your heart out of balance, and pay attention because those are the things that are actually going to be, um, let's say, um, sort of dispersed at this time. So then um, I'm going to ask the my, my friend in the tarot deck here what what other information that I can give you guys. So, um, I, I like to think of times where, um, I, I mean, I like that idea of what, what isn't really, what isn't really, what isn't really doing me any favors, what isn't serving me, what isn't, uh, really giving me what I truly asked for, what I truly wished for, um, what's standing in the way. And I think right now, what people are seeing is that there are a tremendous number of things that have been standing in their way of their health, their peace of mind, their well-being, and all of that stuff is being challenged right now. Um, so I'm going to throw the cards like I did last week and just see what messages are coming out. Um, authority, uh, three of wands, um, feels like. There's, <laughs> there's people remaining indoors. Okay. And then, um, wish for balance. And then I got one more here. We got the five, that's the five of one or five of swords and the ace of swords. Let me go through each one of these. And then, um, wondering if I should bring out any other cards like I did last time. No, let's just stay with this. The first one has to do with, um, uh, this is time, you actually have time to explore your spirit and actually get in touch with really the connection between heaven and earth. Um, those of you who have any experience with the I Ching at all or have seen, um, read through the I Ching, use the I Ching, the I Ching is an amazing um, indicator of the the connection between heaven and earth. And what I'm going to suggest here is that there are laws of heaven and then there are laws of man. The laws of heaven try to balance everything. The laws of man try to hoard and hold everything tightly. Um, so what I'm going to suggest at this time is that you watch very carefully at how people are violating the law of heaven. The law of heaven means when, when there's a deficiency in one area, something comes to fill it to, to balance it out. It works to balance everything so everything's equal and everything has what it, it needs. Right now, I want you to watch those areas of your life where there has been a deficiency, where you have hoarded uh, one thing or another and not allowed the balance to happen in your life. That's the first thing. Um, so where has there been too much work and not enough health? Where has there been too much leisure and not enough spiritual development? Where has there been um, too much body and no attention paid to the mind? Uh, this is really important at this time. And then look at the bigger picture and look at how people are behaving in terms of are they operating from the laws of heaven, which sort of um, balances things out, or are 
they operating by the law of hoarding and I've got and mine um, or this needs to go here and then you have nothing or this needs to succeed and this needs to flourish and this is pressed down. So watch for that which oppresses, watch for that which whores, watch for that which uplifts and gives more to something that that doesn't need it because I think you'll learn a lot about the laws of man versus the law of heaven here. This is kind of a this is kind of a heavy topic. If you really want to learn more about it, I would suggest you read the I Ching and see how the I Ching refers to heaven's laws versus me, me, men's laws. The other thing that is very interesting about that is that in the I Ching, they talk about the ancient kings, the enlightened kings who stood between heaven and earth because they were the ones who could actually see what was necessary to balance heaven and earth. And my question for you is, do we have a situation right now where the people we rely on who, t who supposedly take care of... Um, our societies, our states, our uh, natural resources, are they really operating from the law of heaven and balancing it with earth, or are they doing something else? So that's what I'm suggesting here. The, the, this is really about, and, and I guess I could go on and on and on about this, because there's, there's really many, many layers to this, but I'm just going to say, watch this this time, the difference between ma what man thinks is... Uh, necessary and what um, heaven thinks is necessary and I this is this is not about politics so if you start to bring politics into it you've already gone into the law of man because the law of politics because the politicians and they're not operating from that place so um, I just think about that that's the first thing and then the next one is um, uh, as you spend time alone or you you spend time in seclusion with the hermit um, are you, it's a time to operate, or it's a time to see what emerges that, um, really your worries, your fears, your, what, what has bound you. And, um, you have to ask yourself now, what have you invested in, in what has, in, in what has, but what role have you played in what binds you now? So as you have the time to sit and think or have the time to examine, or have the time to see what situations, or where are you bound right now? Where, what area you're bound in right now, you have played a role in. So what role have you played in your own binding? And what do you want to do about that? Uh, so then the next one is, um, this is a wish that people made to be balanced, to balance things, or feeling out of balance. Some things that are coming into play right now, have come from wishes when people I actually put it in today's throw when people wish for the light there's a lot of people out there who say they want the love and light they want love and light they want love and light they want light well I'm going to tell you when light comes in have you ever been in a situation where you saw something at in at twilight or in the night and it looked like a beautiful scene and it was covered in shadow and bathed in moonlight and then in the morning you saw it and you realized it was just like the sunlight showed it as the dumpster it was so you thought it was this beautiful scene and it was all covered in shadow and look all romantic. And then the morning come in, the light, harsh light of morning, especially in cities, you see this. The harsh light of morning, you look at it and you're like, oh, wow, that looked like a beautiful scene last night. Now I can see that it's like a dumpster and there's garbage everywhere, you know. Uh, light, people have been asking for light. Well, light brings um, revelation, illumination, and it show things, shows things for what, it, what they are. So remember, people made wishes. They said they wanted the light. They wanted things to be balanced. Well, um, with balance often comes upheaval. Just remember that. And then I'm gonna. The last piece here is. Um, it actually relates to astrology, and I'm. I'm just gonna say that. Um, I'm not gonna go into this more deeply because, um, in Tibetan Bond, we don't like we don't like force our beliefs on other people. But but I I and, and I'm not going to. Um, I am going to say, however, that I, I do know some stuff that is going on astrologically right now. Um, we ha I've been watching this coming for um, a while now. And actually, we've been watching this for a long time. Um, I asked, I, I said this last time in the last video last week. What did your ancestors agree to? What did your ancestors set in motion? What did they build? 
what did they wish for and what did they um, bring into being that is now causing problems for you what is your role uh, and not just not just you not just like you personally not just one person I mean all of us and what role does each of us have in changing that and do you think we should change that? Those are the questions that you should ask yourself. And I'm going to add one thing to it. Um, what if there was a world that was much older than we've been taught? What do you think that world looked like? And then I'm going to ask you one more question. Where do you think right now, generally speaking, you are being lied to? And how might you go about finding the truth? Those are the messages I've got for you today. You guys stay safe out there. I'm gonna ask one more. I'm gonna ask one more thing of every thing of everyone, and I'm gonna start to I'm gonna start to make this a regular thing that I say in my videos here. This is a time right now where um, I'm going to urge people right now to cultivate generosity, to cultivate a spirit of um, compassion, and to cultivate a a, a realization that. Uh, no one here right now is um, really got it figured out. If we all had it, if if if, if everyone, you know, everyone, you know, a lot, a lot of people like to walk around like they got it figured out. Um, and and you see people breaking out in fights right now and getting angry with each other. The only way to really create anything that's worth anything, and and we can leave any kind of real legacy in the world, is to understand that. People must begin, people of like minds must begin to come together. And as you continue right now down this road, I'm going to suggest that people are going to try to get you to, to fight against each other. And my urging is that you find where you can come together with other people in, in like minds and understand where they're coming from and how they think instead of immediately falling for the trap of fighting against each other. I've seen where that goes personally. Um, when you seek to fight against other people instead of finding where you match them or meet them, um, it creates a, a great deal of problems and nothing can get done. So I'm, I'm going to really encourage you to look on the compassionate side of things and to see where you can come together with like-minded people and watch for people who want you to turn against other people because those are the people who you really got to watch out for. I'm Lucky Links as always wishing you success and good fortune in all that you do. Hey, if you guys want to get a reading from me, 779-302-8009 or conjurehope at gmail.com. Um, if you would like to get your Tibetan astrology done, uh, I got a list of people who are, I'm doing, I'm working on, I'm working on them right now. Um, I, uh, contact me and I'll tell you how much it costs to get your chart done. It's about 60, 70 pages a chart is, and it's all done by hand. I, I'll do it by hand. And, um, it's really about you, your story and why you're here. That's really it. You, your story and why you're here. And uh, this is a very interesting time that we are all here, and you are here for a reason at this time. What is it? Um, so if you want to get your chart done, 779 or conjurehope.gmail.com. I got a playing card class starting in, in the beginning of April, uh, uh, advanced playing cards. If you want to take advanced playing cards, contact me. I've got one in basic, two that you could go into. Um, one on how to read the tarot. Uh, basic one on how to t read the tarot in a more in intermediate and advanced um thing um i've got one in how to read mexican lotteria one in how to read the crystal ball scrying um one in how to read uh lenderman basic and one in how to read the grand tableau if you like, want to take any of these classes contact me 779-302-8009 or conjurehope at gmail.com you guys have a, um, a fantastic week and i will talk to you soon